Hello once again YouTube viewers, this is gcn 51 here with another tutorial on Fraps. Now, I'm going to show you for this tutorial how to improve your um, recordings for your Fraps and when you're playing games and everything. So some of the settings that you should have is for your frames per second, you should have it 120 frames per second. This will help out a lot when you're recording. Also, make sure it's on half size, not full size. So you can record half of your uh, records, and not, I'm not saying like by the time, I'm saying by what you're recording. Now make sure you have the lock frame rate while recording checked, so this way your um, so this way it'll, it won't be perfectly 120 fr frames per second. Not neither would it be less than 60 or 50 frames per second. It'll be perfectly in, uh, decently around 90 to 100 frames per second. Um, another thing is uh, make sure that you're saving to a external hard drive make sure your file management is perfect um, the recording sounds doesn't really matter but let me get uh, quickly into the uh, file management here now one thing is that make sure that what where you're you're playing your game at which is normally the C drive is there and your recordings should be either in, a, in your D drive which is your backup drive or any other drive which is a hard drive USB drive any any other thing but make sure there's enough um, memory for you to record into it also uh, what this helps is that when you're playing your game your game is using memory from your regular drive now if you record onto another drive um, it will help really help help a lot and your and your recording smoothness. Now, also make sure the force lossless RGB capture is unchecked because RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Now, if you have this checked, you it means that you want everything to be HD, no colors to be missed, nothing. Um, for in my case, when I don't if I don't have it checked, like I have it right now, uh, when I'm recording games, I loses a bits and bits of color and it'll, and it'll help the recording be, be smoother and it also also reduce the size of the video capture. Now I'll minimize this and I'll give you some more tips on your windows. Now for some of the things here is you right click on your desktop, click on view and make sure you have show desktop icons and show desktop gadgets unchecked. After you have that unchecked, the reason to do to this is that the video card has Every um, it, it uses memory and us usage on just having these things showing. Another thing is for your taskbar here on the bottom. Make sure you have things that you can exit on or close, things like that. Now, if you have like, for example, an Adobe application right there, uh, and you can't close it really good, uh, just click on Control Shift Escape. It'll take you to the Windows Task Manager. Now, if you don't know the shortcut, if you don't want to use the shortcut, just go into the taskbar on the bottom below, right click, and click on Start Task Manager. It will show you to the applications right here. Now make sure that your process is open, the tab, and then look for some things that you really don't need to have open. This also uses up memory, which is in the background, that's running in the background. Like, for example, iTunes Helper, you can just right click it, and process tree. Now make sure one of the tips here with uh, task manager processes when you're ending tasks, it's important to know what you're running and what you're not running. Make sure that the program that you're going to run, for example Pando Media Booster, which is used for League of Legends to improve gaming, you right click it and make sure it's under your username of your computer and just hit on process tree. In process tree, but the difference between in process and in process tree is that in process tree what it does It'll it'll stop the process from the main one and all the on all the other programs that follow beneath it. Now in process will just end the program and the programs that run beneath it won't be stopped. So just hit end process tree unless you can know what you're doing. And let's see what else can we just uh, stop. You can also stop host process, which usually takes up to 5,000 kilobytes. And this one is from my old computer, um, my old de um keyboard which I really don't need. And I think that's pretty much it. So after that uh, you can just close this since it's uh, the task manager itself uses pretty decent amount of memory as well. Now that you're pr practically done. Now if your computer is old or you want even more better performance another thing is that your desktop as you noticed right now it changes every so and so minutes or seconds. Now make sure 
you ha um, if you want, uh, I'm just saying if you want um, your recording to be more smoother, make sure you just have one still image, and for your theme on the bottom, make sure it's the the um, the old version of Windows. And I think that's pretty much it. So um, I'll go back to Minecraft right now to show you an example, a really quick demonstration of how fast Minecraft can be and everything. And I'll be back with you guys. This is just basically um, how smooth it can run and how even though with the chunk um, loading, map loading, it still runs pretty smooth and everything, especially with the mods that it's installed into this. Um, it runs pretty smooth and the sound also runs really smooth with the recordings. Now some of the settings that I recommend for if you're playing um, any type of game, make sure that your your options for your game is according to your, um, what should I say, it's according to your computer speed. Now if your computer is old, make sure that everything is on low settings and don't play everything high def like Call of Duty offers or Assassin's Creed offers but um, that's pretty much um, the settings that you need to put also make sure that the graphics are also set into according to what your computer can handle now if your computer is pretty boss and and not like mine and has like one of the best NVIDIA Chief Forces or video cards or any other type of that that's, that's good stuff then you can actually play everything and I'm pretty sure your video card can handle any type of graphics and it'll increase and make sure you have enough memory speed to run everything that you have recording and, and all that good stuff sorry, sorry. do I have a hoe? yeah I have okay, um, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed it and yeah I think that's pretty much it and anything else that comes up to my mind that I have not mentioned in this video I'll post it up in my website or on the YouTube description below. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Anything that you guys notice that I have not added or put into my website or my description, please feel free to update me on the description below as well. And I'll update it to everyone that's seeing this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and have a nice day.